gotta pee. Shit. You go pee. I already hit the recording. I'll just pee right here. Hold on a second. <laughs> Some people call me the space cowboy. <laughs> I felt like I was in big band hell. I played the, I played the bones, baby. <laughs> Just don't put my hand in warm water. You know what you know I did that to a friend once? Yep. A bunch of us guys were over the place, one of our friends fell asleep. And uh, we had heard that whole thing where if you, somebody's asleep, you put their hand in, in warm water, that they'll start peeing themselves. So we did. So we put his hand in warm water and three seconds later, his whole jeans started getting wet. Started peeing I, himself. I, Say I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong. I also did that to somebody uh, before and you know who you are. Say I'm doing you wrong. Doing your own. Yeah, he yeah. was so mad. We fucking took it out. We were like, oh my shit, this works. Fucking hell. So we kept it in there for a little bit longer because we wanted to. <laughs> and then we took it out and uh, we put, took it back to the kitchen. And then we, well, just waited for him to wake up. <laughs> he woke up and he looked down and he tried to pretend like he didn't see it because he, he knew he pissed himself while he was asleep. And we go, we go, Mike, did you, did you piss yourself while you are asleep? No, man, no. I don't know what the hell happened. We are just dying laughing. He freaking goes and changes. He comes back in. We're all dying laughing. He goes, it's not that. It's not funny. We go, no, bro, it's not that. We, uh, we uh, um, sort of, uh, we told him what we did. And he freaking, he went around beating all of us. Dude, oh, man, beat would, us. I would beat possibly us. imagine that would be the case. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dude, really? what are we talking about? We are talking about um, ice caps and polar bears and icicles and snow glaciers. flakes and glaciers. That sounded like the Sound of Music thing. That's right. Oh. These are a few of my favorite things. He actually got one of my movie references that I put in every single video. Yeah. Really? One. Yeah. Oh. Every single video we, I do a movie reference. That is so good. I gotta go back and look at those. Oh crap! I sh I should have told you guys that. I put a Shakespeare quote in every video. <sighs> yeah, but mine's no, actually, way I don't. I don't. I was thinking about it, but I forgot. I keep forgetting to do it. We're gonna die, man. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. <gasps> <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Bella, shut up. No. That's <clears throat> Damon, are, Damon's are, kids are on the couch watching us. Do really? We already did it. Dude! Do really? You just did a do really. I did. Oh my god. I, I felt just... that I felt that the host over here needed a little bit of a break. He's been kind of, kind of like, with the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> the sauce. <laughs> oh, <coquina! laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about what what's a, what the point we're going to make on global warming yes. is. <laughs> yes is, of course, it's all nonsense. It's a way for politicians, for the furry left, to take control of America, take control of businesses, all of that stuff. The science is not in on this. And one, one of the things I wanted to mention was they keep calling us who say that there's no proof of anthropogenic, anthropogenic uh, global warming, which is human-caused global warming, there's, that there's, the proof isn't in on it. The science isn't in on it. And it's not. A lot of them are pretending it is, but it's not. So the, the interesting thing is the, these furry bastards are taking the offense on the use of a word. And they're the deniers, calling us deniers. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're calling us deniers. Yeah, they say that we're denying global yeah, warming. We're, no, we're denying, we're denying science. Yeah. They, they say even take it further. Yeah, that's right. We're denying science. So the, inter the irony on this is that it's them who's denying science. They are the deniers. In the sense that if you, if you truly believe in the scientific method, you understand that it has to be proved and then it has to be peer-reviewed by, by other scientists. And they have to show the progression. They have to be able to show all the facts. And yeah, cherry-picking is not allowed. Yeah, you can't cherry-pick. And the facts have to be conclusive and they have to be peer-reviewed. 
Well, global warming, this, this is not the process of global warming. What it is, is you got a few scientists saying it is the case. Many scientists say it's not the case. But the fact is, it, it, it's, it's a denial of the scientific method is what the global, the global warming, global, no, the climate, climate change fuckers are doing. So they're the actual deniers. And that's one thing I want the, I want conservatives and libertarians to start doing is to acknowledge the fact that it's, it's, the deniers are on the other side. They're on the lefty side. Yeah. And it's not, you know, and also who cares? Who cares if the earth is warming or cooling a little bit? Who cares? I mean, I think I find it, I find it hilarious to the fact that they used to call it global warming when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was all about global warming. Global warming this, global warming that, whole thing was on there. We're going to die. We're going to fry. Uh, by 2020, we're going to be dead. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not even, I'm still very, very white, not even a tan. So uh, I, think we, as I, I think we might have missed that boat ever so slightly. Now, that being the case, it, it, get, it went and changed from global warming to climate change yeah. uh, because the climate was indeed changing. You can't, you can't argue with climate change because it is changing. Yeah. You know, the climate is changing. The climate changes. Yeah, we acknowledge the fact that the climate is changing. It's been just four and a half billion years. Yeah, as a matter of fact, did you guys know that the Earth actually was a big ball of fire before at the beginning of its of its? Uh, and birth? did you and did you also know that uh, during the there's a thing called the medieval warm period, medieval warming. It happened right around the time of Charlemagne, around the year 10,000. It lasted for 200 years. The Earth was before industrialization, folks. Well, no, that that was definitely when they were burning all that coal. Yeah. And the, tons, tons and the, of coal. The steel plants, the electric yeah. cars. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, fucking lithium lithium uh, mines, all yeah. that good shit. Yeah. yeah. So, so a thousand years ago, a thousand years ago today, the earth was warmer, warmer than it is today. Yes. How does that how does that happen? Because because of all the carbon emissions that yeah. we were putting into the atmosphere. Yeah, all those uh, smoke Of course. Stacks. Yeah. And they can't explain it, folks. In fact, if you look at them, the one thing that they are honest about, because it's very, very few things, the one thing that they're honest about is they don't know mm. why the Earth warmed. There's a bunch of speculation, but the reason they don't know is because they don't know now. They don't know what causes everything that causes warming. They don't know the different variables. This is a key in all of this, is that we know that water vapor, the sun, with a thing called the Milinkovitch cycles, the Earth wobbling and orbiting, it changes its orbit and everything. There's a bunch of different variables. How much sunlight plants absorb, how much uh, CO2 the ocean gives off. These things are incredibly complex and we are decades or centuries away from understanding this. That's the honest way to approach this. Really? So to, to you, say that we know, we know absolutely that this is a case is disingenuous at best or, or it's uh, just pure, pure, pure lie. lie at worst. Yeah. I mean, ultimately that's what it is. And yeah. then, and then also to force other people to, uh, bend to your whims simply because of your best guess is is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, and so what the government does to get money out of this, because this is all, it all, you follow the money. Whenever it comes to government, you just follow the money. Where does the money go? Yeah. So it allows the government to steal our money to regulate global warming. Create another acronym, GGGHCP, GWF bar, you know. And the most hilarious aspect of this is the government sells carbon offsets. Absolutely. So you can still pollute as long as you pay us money. Yes. You can go to your local officials, state officials, or the federal government and say, here's $5 million. We want to pollute more. Yes. And, and they'll be like, well, it's not good for the planet, but uh, no problem, we'll buddy. Take, we'll take your money. Okay. Yeah, we'll no take problem. Your, we'll take your money. We, we got it. That's all right. They've been doing this for a couple of decades now. Al Gore was a specialist on how to do this, the how to get it done. The inconvenient truth. Yeah. The whole thing's a scam. It's such an obvious scam, but the media, the lefty furries in the media are on board with the scam, so they don't do what they're supposed to do, and that is let everybody know that it is a scam. So it's just one of many of the scams that are going on. Oh, it's because the easiest way to control populace is through fear. Yeah. So you got to make you afraid. you got to be afraid of something. Yep. Can't have you not be afraid of anything. Can't have you going around thinking that everything is hunky dory. You have to have some sort of looming danger. There has to be some sort of big bad out there somewhere. 
that the government's going to protect you that from. they're going to protect you from yeah. because you need protection yeah. and in order to get protection all we have all you have to do is sign your little rights away as a matter of fact over in california the uh governor of california gavin newsom uh, he's actually i don't know if you've heard of this but he, they sent out little secret letters that to uh, people who have wells on their property and uh by 2023 uh, they are to uh install meters on their wells <laughs> And they're to water report, bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their water bills on their property, and uh, they're to pay three hundred dollar uh, filing fee every year, and they're also to meter exactly the volume and and uh, the pumping. This how much is, they pump? This is the government scams going yep. on. And and also their their uh, per acre, uh, twenty five to fifty dollars per acre, depending on if it's well groundwater there. They also have to they also have to tell the government exactly what they're using that groundwater for, and um, yeah. And this is what they do. This is secretly going around right now. As we said in a previous video, the water crisis in California is not caused by lack of water. They've got plenty of water coming down from the snowy mountains into California. Plenty. But the government will not allow reservoirs to be built. Will not allow people to use their own land to create lakes, which people have a right to do. So once the government gets in charge of anything, it ruins it. Completely ruins the industry. Causes people to starve, causes people to go thirsty, causes, causes crops to fail, and the government charges us to, while it's doing all of this, the government increases taxes. Mm -hmm. Theft. Because you got to make sure that you can pay for the protection. Yeah, exactly. If you know what I'm saying, forget about it. Don't worry about it. You just give us a couple of dollars here, we'll take care of you. Don't worry about your business, we'll take care of everything. But be Godfather. sure that you tell us. Godfather. Close. Godfather. Goodfellas. No, I was going to say Goodfellas. No, no, no. Why did you do that? I was going to say Goodfellas right after that. Well, that's fine. That's okay. It was, what's his name? The short guy who says that. Yeah, Joe Pesci. Yeah, Joe Pesci. The short guy. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Don't worry, Joe Pesci. We love you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's just like George Carlin says, I worship Joe Pesci because yeah. he seems like the kind of guy who could just get shit done. Yeah, right? I loved him in My Cousin Vinny. The two youths. The two youths. No, oh, I'm sorry. Youths. Yeah. I loved Oi. her. What's her name? I loved her even more. You ever heard of Grit? Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei. My biological clock is <laughs> ticking. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so as we do in every in every episode, as we connect it back around to rights, uh, your rights, our rights, we have a right to our body, property, and money, as we always say. And so any kind of government involvement, the government's not supposed to be sticking its thermometer up the Earth's ass and figuring out its temperature. That's not its job. Its job is simply to protect us from other people trying to attack us, come after us. It's not supposed to protect, protect us from warmth or cooling or flooding or storms or bad health or old age or anything. It's just supposed to, supposed to simply do one thing and that is protect us from other people trying to harm our bodies, property, and money. And That's ultimately, it. it's personal responsibility. So mm -hmm. if you own a cow farm and you decide that you don't want cow farts and polluting our atmosphere, you want to change it to a, a soy farm, you know, more power to you. That's your own private property. Now, I obviously will not be purchasing your soy-based products because I prefer to eat the beef. But uh, I like the <laughs> beef. <laughs> Where's the beef? <coughs> you said cow farting. <laughs> I did. <laughs> cow farting. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. ultimately it's up to you right? yeah. yeah nice nice point Damon. thank you as always thank you very eloquent all right y'all let us know as always let us know what you think okay. down in the comments if this video is able to be stay up is right. able to stay up because you know i would oh, i would say this, right. this subject this may be misinformation it's possible jesus it is possible right. well uh if you've seen the previous video uh we we got struck one of our videos was taken from us in our library uh, because of misinformation. Because we said that in that video that the 2020 elections were stolen, so we can no longer say that on camera. No, so, I mean, but we're, so we're not saying that. We're not saying that. That's what I'm saying. What, we're not, we're we're not, not, we're saying, not that. saying that the 2020 elections were stolen. No, we cannot say that anymore we're not allowed to on say that. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Catch y'all soon. Bye.